So we're here on the Rio Grande, and um, most of the fishing here is done in swing. Casting downstream, mostly 45 degrees downstream. We keep the fly moving. We have mostly enough current so we don't have to strip it, which is nice. So we use double-handed rods that help us tackle the wind. But most of the time the wind actually helps us so because the river flows from west to east and so does the wind. And uh, we can mostly in 85% of the pools use the wind to our advantage. It helps us bring the fly in the right direction, about 45 degrees downstream of where we are casting. That way we get a nice swing so we fish an angle to the fish. In terms of equipment, we use a lot of um, light and short double-handed rods, mostly because a short double-handed rod is uh, easy to handle in the wind. It's easier to fish a smaller pool because a lot of these pools are actually fairly narrow. It's a lot easier to make just one cast with the water instead of double hauling a single hand all day, which is very exhausting. But we do use single handers a lot in the tributary, the Rio Menendez, which is quite nice to do. It's a completely different river. And a lot of times it's a saving grace to a blown out or a too shallow main river. Most of our spay rods are rigged with short Scandi style spay lines. That helps us to present the fly in you know, conditions where it's not too windy, smoothly and without too much uh, distortion on the water. But in conditions when we have a lot of wind um, or when we have to cast heavy flies, heavy tips, we use gadget heads. Short gadget heads that help us deliver heavy fly on cold days or on murky water days on a little heavier rod. So the light equipment is mostly seven weights, short 12, 12 and a half and seven weights. And our heavier equipment is eight or even nine weights and 12 and a half to 13 and a half feet. For single-handed rods, we use short and aggressive weight forward lines or short shooting head systems with replaceable tips or intermediate lines or floating lines depending on the water clarity or conditions. If you're new to spay casting and you want to prepare for fishing on the Rio Grande, you would have to learn for simple casts. You will have to do a double spay from the right side and from the left side and you will have to do a single spay from the right and the left side. If you can do those four casts, you will be able to cover every single pool in the river. 